And if you look, you'll see, you'll see the resemblance, shape of the head, something about the mouth. Now, of course, he looks much more like his mother, especially in the way, especially in the way he commits himself to everything he does. I've never known a woman like Justine. Never have since, never will again. She came in and out of my life like quicksilver. She brought me unimaginable joy. And we were very happy for a time. Until she vanished. I didn't know where to look for her. You had no idea who she was? No. I mean, at first it was all very tantalizing, you know, not knowing anything at all about that side of her life. But after a time I came to realize that she, um... Well, she wasn't doing it to tease me. She was simply doing it to hold on. What about her husband? Well, I didn't really know if she was anybody's wife. Would it have mattered if you did? No. no of course not. We belonged to each other. In a way that defied all normal convention. Together. We were free. In some ways, we were very much alike. <laughs> oh, I, I was a very different person back in those days. In those days, life to me was a table laden with delights to be tasted and savoured, enjoyed and relished. She was just the same. Not that she was superficial. No, 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 no. Deep down, there was sinew, there was a quick intellect. She was my match. Not to mention Spencer's. Do you know, it upsets me even now to think that she was obliged to go home to that money-grubbing, middle-class little bourgeois. Her husband and the father of her children, Carl. Father of her eldest child, maybe. That was her choice, Carl. I begged her to come away with me. Two of us could have explored life together, just like you and Matt. If I'd known there was a child, I'd have given her anything she wanted, any life she wanted for the three of us. But now, somehow Spencer got to her. Finally, he suffocated her. Did she have any idea of what you did for a living? Are you suggesting that that's why she disappeared? Well, there was an item in the Libra file. Somebody made the connection. The Libra file? Yes, it's a file. It's all about me. It's a mass of error and conjecture with a few fragments of truth. But, you know, it was through that file that I found out about my son. I mean, what a magnificent gift to come into my life at this age. I don't think crime will see it that way. No. No, well, it'll take him time to get used to it. You've told him already? That's not the way I'd hoped. Carl, what are you planning? Shall I tell you something, Rachel? Shall I tell you a secret? You know, the very first time I met Brian, the first time I laid eyes on him, I somehow secretly admired him. I admired his, his intelligence. His nerve. It's ironic, isn't it? My own... Unknown, son. I don't think you'll share your admiration, Carl. Oh, give me time. 